Welcome to Real Estate Today. My name is Ed Cox and our co-host is Maria Babicki. We're both real estate agents here in Simsbury and we both last week uh, visited Holloway's Appliance Center with the intention of talking about all the new uh, innovations and trends in all the appliances that Holloway sells. Uh, even though both Maria and I uh, have shopped and bought our appliances there, we didn't realize how much Holloway's has to offer. So we decided for this show to concentrate on kitchens. Uh, with the help of our guest, we would like to talk about what the new trends, new innovations, and new products are for the kitchen. So with that in mind, Maria, would you introduce our special guest and get the show started? Sure. Our special guest today is Lori Donahue, the Sales and Marketing Manager for Holloway's Appliance Center. It's a third generation family owned business um, that has been around since 1951. Hello, Lori. Hi. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. We're so pleased to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you joined Holloway's? Sure. Uh, I have been in the community now for a little over five years and when I first came to Connecticut I was working for an appliance manufacturer in their sales and marketing team. Uh, I then got my MBA uh, in marketing and uh, proceeded to have children and liked the idea of being closer to home. So now I'm the sales and marketing manager at Holloway's which I've been for about two and a half almost three years. Well, you have a great conveniently located store on Route 10, and uh, we really enjoyed going there and seeing yeah. everything set up, you know, being able to see all these kitchen vignettes. So um, I, I think that's excellent for buyers. Yes, we, we love the fact that we have everything from a dishwasher display where you can see lots of different dishwashers all the way up to high-end kitchen vignettes that give you an example of what your kitchen could look like in your own home. Now some people may have a misconception that you sell only high-end appliances, but this is not true, right? Absolutely not. We literally can sell you anything that the big box stores can sell, uh, from a basic $299 dishwasher all the way up to your high-end and everything in between. Okay. Okay, um, one question is, is that uh, you know, Holloway's, why, other than that you have the big selection, what other things about Holloway's distinguishes you from uh, the big box stores, I would say? The first thing I think you should know is that when, if you're shopping for price, 99% of the time we're going to be able to either match or beat the price that you can get at a big box store. But what you're not going to get at a big box store is the intelligence of our sales staff. All of our sales staff, this is their career. This is something that they really take pride in knowing all the different brands. We train everyone on a frequent basis so that they know all the different trends all the ins and outs of the appliances that they're selling. Okay, um, another thing that uh, when we were talking about is, is that when you go to install, a lot of times if you buy a dishwasher, then you have to be charged for hoses and other things. Is, is all that sorts of upcharges that you don't think are a part of the original charge. Uh, yes, so we like to include everything. We don't nickel and dime our customers. If um, if you buy a washer, we include the hoses. If you buy a dryer, we include the dryer cord, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so there really should be no surprises. The only thing that uh, we aren't able to do uh, as part of that regular charge would be special installation. So if you're going to have a dishwasher or a wall oven installed, that would be an extra charge. Mm -hmm. um, but we are very upfront with our customers and make sure they know all the ins and outs of what's going to happen from the time that their appliance gets delivered to the time that it actually is usable in their home. Right. The other uh, thing that I thought was valuable is, is that if all of a sudden you're a homeowner and you have a problem with your uh, refrigerator that you purchased, uh, you have a full-time customer service person who can help you connect with the correct people to get it fixed? Yes. So we are not a servicing 
appliance dealer, but we do have, a, like you said, a full-time customer service manager who will help you if you need help. So if your dishwasher breaks and you're having problems with it, he can help you get the service that you need, or if even, heaven forbid, it gets that far, help you be, uh, or be a liaison for you between the homeowner and the manufacturer. Okay, that's, um, I think. Now, a frequently asked question, which is faced by both realtors and appliance uh, dealers is, if I'm selling my house, should I update my appliances to stainless steel? What do you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 90%, I would say, I'm guessing on this number, but it's got to be close of everything that we are selling right now is stainless steel, full stainless steel appliances. So if someone's coming in and looking to sell their home and looking for some upgrades, I would say a stainless steel package is uh, not, can, can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be expensive. So it would be a good place to start. Okay. I think one thing that people were initially concerned about with stainless steel was how do you clean it? What type of cleaner do you use? Right. So what we suggest always is to use a water-based cleaner rather than an oil-based cleaner. So what a lot of people use when they go to the grocery store, they buy a nice oil-based stainless steel cleaner. They use it on their stainless steel appliances and it looks great until you touch it mm -hmm. because it's oily and then shows the fingerprints more. If you use a water-based cleaner, I'm not saying you're never going to see the fingerprints, but they certainly aren't going to be as noticeable because you're not going to be wiping a layer of oil off of your appliances. So we recommend Twinkle, which is a brand that you can, of course, buy at Holloway's. <laughs> you could also get it online if you'd rather. Okay. And for those of us who, uh, who do not want stainless steel, it, are, what are the other options available out there now? Well, there's always black and white. That's mm -hmm. still something that we have plenty of. Um, there's bisque for a couple people, but bisque <laughs> is sort of on its way out. So there's very few uh, options as far as bisque goes. What's becoming more and more popular uh, would be, or I wouldn't say more and more popular, but maybe a better option would be what GE has come out with, which is called Slate. And that's only available in the GE line, but it is basically a charcoal gray that you would clean just the same way as you would as a white or black appliance, just with soap and water rather than a stainless steel cleaner. Yeah, well, you, Ed and you, I you, saw that. Yeah, we, we saw that it. at the we Yeah, saw it's that very at, sharp. And yeah, it even yeah, has I liked the it a lot. stainless look handle. So if you do need to mix and match for any reason, it's, I think it would look really nice. Okay, um, uh, my question about that was, is that can you get that at several price points? No. Right. So that is only available. GE has several different lines, and the slate is only available in their GE line. So they're just the more basic line, not oh. in profile or cafe oh. or anything like that. Okay. Now, who knows what... The future. Right. Okay. Um, when we visited your store, we also spoke about designer trends. So can you elaborate on some of those? Um, so as far as color goes or, okay, so a lot of the designers right now keep saying that stainless is out, even though we are not seeing that in the store. Uh, but what some of the manufacturers are doing, um, they're, they're allowing you to pick your own color. So Blue Star, for instance, and Decor are two brands where you literally could send them a, a paint swab and say you want your range to be this color and they will make it and send you a chip and make sure that you like that color and then make your range accordingly. Uh, so that's one thing. Mila is um, a high-end brand that actually they have a, a slew of what they're calling brilliant white appliances, which is a little sleeker, more modern style of white. And they actually even are coming out with something, I believe it's called Truffle Brown. So uh, you'll have to go online and see if you can see those if you'd like to see that color. If you're looking for something definitely unique, maybe not something if you're trying to sell your house, but if you're looking to purchase appliances for your own kitchen. 
Well, the brilliant white, it almost looked like um, there's a piece of glass over it. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it personally, but I, mm. I, I do believe there's, it does. It's, it gives that sleeker look, but like I believe that it's white behind glass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, could, could I ask on, uh, the other thing is about the colors. You also have, I've noticed some refrigerators with uh, cabinetry on the front. What about what's up with those? So you can put your own cabinetry on several different appliances, built-in refrigerators, built-in dishwashers, uh, microwave, uh, not microwave drawers, refrigerator drawers, a couple different appliances. You can just put your own cabinetry on. I guess the thing that you need to know about that is that if you decide uh, to change that out to a different manufacturer in the future, it, it's not a hundred percent guarantee that that wood panel is going to fit. Okay. On. And the the question that led me to that was is that if I have a sub zero refrigerator now, is it all sub zero refrigerators you can do the cabinetry to, or are there specific ones? You need to buy a the unit that is going to accept okay. the panel. So Great. no, you can't just buy a stainless steel dishwasher or a stainless okay. steel Sub Zero and expect to be able to take okay. the panel off and put your own panel on. Got it. You may be able to, but chances are right. you need to buy that specific model. That's a good question. <laughs> Um, as for, far as first-time home buyers, the entry-level buyer, um, if they decide they don't quite want the basic, but they can't afford much more, mm -hmm. what would you recommend for an upgrade? Well, I would say now stainless isn't nearly as as expensive as it once was. The difference between an all-white or all-black kitchen package versus an all-stainless kitchen package is not nearly as pricey mm -hmm. as it used to be. So that would be an easy upgrade for a new home buyer to do. Uh, the other upgrade that might be possible would be to go, rather than a full-size refrigerator, to go to a counter-depth French door refrigerator. And that's going to give you uh, less room, unfortunately, in the refrigerator, but it's going to give you a more built-in look because that counter depth is going to be uh, not sticking out into your kitchen. Okay. A uh, question we have is, uh, or I have, is that if someone decides to buy a new refrigerator news, and the one that they have right now is is needs to be taken away, part of your purchase is that you take them. Correct. Um, is there, do they get recycled? Oh, okay. So refrigerators and anything, any of our appliances, yes, we include the Holloway as part of the charge. It's, it's free. It's all included. And uh, what we do is we recycle as much of the appliance as we possibly can. Of course, not everything is recyclable, but if we can recycle it, we do. Great. And if we can't, we can't. Great. Um, now, as far as general trends, there seems to be a trend in the direction of an industrial style. And I think we've seen that with appliances with the pro style and the beefier knobs and things. Yes. Um, now, when we went to visit your store, uh, specifically with um, cooking trends, we saw Advantium uh, ovens by GE, mm -hmm. induction cooktops, uh, steam ovens, and French door ovens. Can you elaborate on some of those different things? Yeah. So the induction cooktops are just becoming more and more popular, especially if you don't have access to natural gas, uh, but or if you like the cleanability of an electric cooktop. What an induction cooktop is, is it basically uses magnets to heat the bottom of your pan. So the cooktop is actually not getting hot like a traditional electric rain or electric uh, cooktop. Uh, what's getting hot is just the pan and then of course the food. So what's nice about that is you have the cleanability of electric, but it actually has the uh, it actually, sorry, <laughs> it actually has uh, the, the reaction of gas. So when you have it up on that high boil, your pot is boiling, but if you bring it down to a simmer, 
it will immediately go down to a simmer. Rather than an electric cooktop, it takes a long time for that electric burner to cool down. So a lot of people, when they're boiling something on an electric cooktop and then want to bring it down to a simmer, they have to actually right. move the pot to a different burner. You would not need to do that with induction. Yeah, and you demonstrated that to us while we were in the store. Yes. So uh, induction, like I said, it's just becoming more and more popular because um, people like the cleanability of an electric cooktop and things aren't going to get cooked on and baked on to the cooktop like they would a traditional electric. The other part that surprised me about it was that you could put the pan wherever you wanted and it found it. Well, that was the, yes, that's the Thermidor. That's not an oh. everyone. Oh, that's, okay. yeah. <laughs> that's the Thermidor, uh, if they call it their freedom induction. Oh, okay. And yes, you can put the pan, any size pan, anywhere you want, and it will find it, and you can even move it, and it will follow it. It's oh. very cool, and we do have that live in our showroom. Yeah, that, we saw it. Okay. <laughs> now, something with that, a child could put their hand on top and not get burned, correct? Right, because it's only going to work when you have a pot that takes a magnet. Mm -hmm. So you put your hand there, or even if you had something small that was magnetic, if you sat it there, it, it, it wouldn't react. It needs to be the size of a pan uh, and ha be able to hold a magnetic charge. Wow. So specifically, what kind of cookware are we talking about? We can, you use cast iron and revereware and copper pots, things like that. So that's a tricky question. The best, mm. if you want to know what's going to work in your own home, your best bet is to take a magnet and see if it really sticks onto the bottom of the pan. If it mm. really sticks onto the bottom of the pan, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. If you're buying new pans, we do recommend that you buy a set that actually says on the label, induction, induction ready. Mm -hmm. Which, years ago, they were only expensive pans. Now you can go to Bed Bath and Beyond and buy a pretty reasonable set that would be induction ready. But this is kind of changing the way um, the thoughts on high end kitchens because before it was like you thought about a high end kitchen and you thought about gas, but now you could think about advanium. Uh, I'm sorry, induction, induction cooktops. Yes, you can, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just what's so nice is it's truly giving the consumer different options that are all workable in your kitchen. Okay. And um, Advanium Ovens, yep. that is specifically GE, right? Yes. GE is the only company that makes the Advantium Oven, and that is a speed oven. So it uses both a convection oven, microwaves, and lights in the oven to be able to cook your food either four times or eight times faster than you normally could with no preheat time. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Yes. And I think a lot of people are liking those, especially busy moms and dads who are coming home from work or getting their kids home from school and just need something, need to be able to put a meal on their table quickly. <laughs> And then uh, two other things uh, we thought were kind of neat there, the steam ovens and the French door ovens, but these are both kind of high-end Correct. Things. So steam ovens are available uh, in the Thermidor line, the Miele line, and the Wolf line right now. And they are a combination of steam and a traditional convection oven. So you can do all sorts of things. You can just steam your broccoli in there if you wanted, or you could just bake your cookies. So that's um, using it either as just a steamer or just an oven, or you can use it to combine the two. So if you combine the two, you can use it to make bread that is that nice, you know, chewy center with that crispy, crunchy crust. Uh, or let's say you want to make meatloaf and you can inject some steam in there to make sure that that meatloaf is nice and moist rather than, you know, sometimes people make dry meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> And the French door oven? Oh, the French door oven is just, that's definitely, I would say, the newest trend. Uh, there are only a couple companies right now that, that have them. 
And I think it's just going along with the design trend of the French door refrigerator. People just really like that look. Mm -hmm. It's also nice because rather than having a door to have to kind of reach over, you can probably get, especially if you're, I think, a shorter person, you can get closer to the actual oven. Other general trend, uh, things we talk, that we talked about at the store was uh, drawer microwaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did what the other say about those? I can, I can see an advantage for sure. Yeah, I think that they're really nice for a lot of different reasons. But I think that a lot of people are putting them in, like you said, islands because they're they're just an easy access for they get them out of the way and they're easy for children to use, adults to use. Uh, Sharp is coming out with one now that actually the control panel tilts, so you're not having to reach down too much to to work the controls. Uh, another general trend that we were talking about were what what some innovations in uh, dishwashers. Mm -hmm. So one of the newest things that's sort of up and coming is the third rack. While the higher end has always had that third rack utensil mm -hmm. drawer. Um, what's nice is that companies like Bosch and GE Profile and KitchenAid are bringing them down into more reasonable price points. So people are liking that third rack because you can use it for utensils or your cutlery or slotted spoons, things like that. So a lot of people are, are really interested in, in making that part of their, their kitchen. And maybe it, one, that might be one of those splurges for a new homeowner. Okay. Um, now, you told us that you have cooking events in your store, and I thought that was a really interesting because all these uh, newfangled things, you know, it must be quite complicated to learn how to use them, so that's an excellent opportunity. So how would, what exactly do you do for your demonstrations, and how do you learn about when all of this is happening? So what's really nice is that we do offer uh, frequently convection cooking classes because so many of our customers have purchased an oven or a range and then they say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't use my convection. I don't even know how to use it. So whether you've already purchased one or you're thinking about purchasing one, it's nice to come into the store. We have a professional chef. Uh, who's going to come in and teach you how to use a convection oven, no matter what the brand, and you can learn all about it and get a really good meal. <laughs> and the way that you would learn about it would be to go onto our website, and there should be a little tab that says cooking events or cooking classes. And most of our events are free uh, for all of our customers. Okay, so uh, people should come hungry, huh? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. And they, we, I should add that we also do occasionally have them for induction cooking as well. But we definitely run the convection cooking classes more often. Okay. Uh, well, the question we have, I, I know in Simsbury we don't have gas everywhere, but what, would, what are your comments about gas versus electric? As far as an oven goes? Um, well... I still think it's a lot of personal preference there on what you're used to cooking on, but a lot of people prefer to uh, have an electric oven because it can be a more even heating, it does a better job at self-cleaning. Those are two of the main reasons people would choose to go with an electric oven versus a gas oven. And, uh, and then back to the induction is some of those people who may be thinking, well, for a cooktop wise gas, some of those people have switched are switching to induction. Right. And then you would if you're doing a one piece unit and you do an induction cooktop, you're automatically going to have the electric right. oven. OK. Um, as far as the overall appliances in your store, uh, who is the manufacturer that you sell the most of? Uh, that's hard, but I would say most likely it's going to be GE because we go from, GE goes from anywhere down from Hot Point, which is their basic introductory product, mm -hmm. all the way up through all the price points to GE Monogram, which is a high-end product. So what's nice about GE is that they give you a lot of different options. So um, they're a very supportive company of, of Holloway, so we like to support them. 
And if we go to the um, high end, mm -hmm. uh, would it be Wolf and Sub-Zero? Yes. Uh, okay. And I believe that that has a lot to do with the fact that they truly have done an excellent job of branding themselves as a high-end product. When you think of a high-end kitchen, you think of a sub-zero refrigerator. Right. Um, and as far as like uh, a range versus a cooktop in double ovens, mm -hmm. what do you think the high-end buyer is gravitating toward? That's too hard of a question. Yeah. They, uh, it's truly 50-50. There's some yeah. people that like that 36 or 48 inch range because they want that to be a statement piece mm -hmm. in their kitchen. But then there are others that they don't want a gas cooktop, so they want the induction cooktop. Or even if they do want a gas cooktop, they want the double wall oven. So that, that I still think is a 50-50 depending on what the consumer thinks is going to work best for their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, moving on to refrigerators, uh, what, what's, what's the current buzz or what are people buying now in refrigerators? Uh, the French door counter depth is our most popular seller. Uh, it just, it, it by far is, is what we sell the most of. So originally, I thought French door meant that the left side was freezer and the right side was refrigerator. No, that's not true. That's, a, that's called a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Right. A French door is when the freezer is on the bottom, and then you have two, do two doors to open the refrigerator. And people like that because we're usually in our refrigerators more than we are in our freezers. So the refrigerator is right at... Right. Makes Waist sense to level, me. arm level, eye level. <laughs> Make, makes sense to me for sure. And um, ice and water dispensers, still popular? Yeah, they are still popular. I mean, yeah. we still do get customers that say, absolutely not, I don't want that look. But then they're the, definitely the customers who also come in and, and want it because it's easy. And then, especially if you have kids, it's easy for them to do their own. And I think it's a... I personally think it's a terrific feature. <laughs> um, as we wrap up today's show, uh, what are the key points that you would like homeowners to know about Holloway's and kitchen options? I just think it's important for everyone to know that we're a part of the community uh, and that we want to be your, your kitchen dealer from your first home all the way through to your last home, that we really do work with our customers. We, we want you to keep coming back to us and we want to make you happy and, and, uh, and enjoy shopping here in, in town at a local business. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show, and uh, we hope you can come back um, and discuss outdoor cooking and your grilling options and also um, mattresses on your yes. second floor, which nobody... Yeah, no, we would eat. love to come back, so okay. I'd really like that. All right. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today uh, and watching Real Estate Today. We'll see you next time. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.